Hi class 6 hope you are all fine by the grace of god today we are going to start our fourth lesson plate tectonics the earth's outer layer is made of large moving pieces of plates all of the earth's land and water sit on these plates these plates are made up of solid rocks under these plates is a weaker layer of partially melted rocks the plates are constantly moving over this weaker layer rather like icebergs these plates drift or move slowly perhaps only a few centimeters a year now the protocontinents scientists believe that originally there was just one great land mass and the rest ocean this land mass cracked and broke into gigantic pieces or plates these drifted slowly apart 10 centimeters a year to form the world as we know it today these plates are still moving and where they collide are the areas of earthquake and volcanoes the plates under the great land masses are usually thicker than the plates under the oceans when two plates collide the sea plate being lighter is usually forced downwards towards the hot interior of the earth this sea plate melts in the intense heat the rocks of the land plate along with this molten material force their way to the surface of the earth as lava and ash this forms the cone shaped mountains we recognize as volcanoes now the earthquakes the plates of the crust rub against one another creating gigantic jerks deep under the earth causing the surface to shake this is called an earthquake the earthquake under the sea causes sea storms and are known as tsunami which are very destructive as they hit the land now the forecast as the earthquake are destructive it is very important to forecast when and where earthquake will occur for this purpose scientists use a delicate instrument called seismograph it recognizes the trembling of the earth surface now the fault lines earthquake occur mainly along the fault lines where the tectonic plates touch each other often they cause little damage but in rare cases they can destroy the whole cities that's all for today for the homework you have to read and understand this chapter carefully and thoroughly have a good day see you next